Hi everyone! This tutorial will show you how to set up the dialogue system for Unity with Zorano's RPG Kit 3.0. We start with a project containing RPG Kit and the dialogue system, and Photon, which is a prerequisite for RPG Kit. If you're using Unity 4, import the package Unity UI Support. It's in Dialogue System Scripts. If you're using Unity 5, you don't need to import this because it's already there. Next, import from third-party support, iCode support. and then import RPG Kit support. Now open RPG Kit's loading scene. And from the dialog system, third-party support, RPG Kit prefabs folder, drag the dialog manager prefab into the scene. By default, the prefab points to the example database included with the support package. When you create your dialog database, assign it to the dialog manager here. Next, we'll add an NPC that barks. Open the main level, And from RPG Kit, Example, NPCs, let's drag the Barker prefab into the scene. Now break the prefab instance, find the iCode behavior, and we'll assign the Bark State Machine to it and click Bind to Object. Let's look at this in the editor. On the bark state, change the conversation to barks, which is the name of a conversation in our example database that contains bark lines. Let's take a moment to see how this state machine works. Most of the time, it's in the idle state. Two conditions cause it to transition to the bark state. If a randomized amount of time has passed, or if the player clicks on the NPC. When the NPC barks, it sets up a new randomized time and returns to the idle state. The dialog system bark action is what actually connects it to the dialog system to show the bark. And the bark is shown using a Unity Bark UI that's on the character. So let's save this and test it out. Here's our bark character. Now we're going to add an NPC with a quest to kill a skeleton. For this example, we'll use the dialog system's quest system, but if you prefer, you could use RPG Kit's quest system instead. Let's find our dialog database and add a quest named Kill the Skeleton.
We'll skip adding the descriptions for now. We'll also define a variable named skeletons killed, which is a number initially set to zero. And we'll create a new conversation. Let's call this quest conversation. We'll have three main branches. The first is if the player hasn't accepted the quest yet. The second is if the player has the quest but hasn't completed the requirements yet. And this is true if the quest is active but the number of skeletons killed is only zero. And the last one is if the player has completed the requirements for the quest. Okay, now let's set this up in the main level. To make this simpler, let's only have one skeleton in the scene. Now edit the skeleton state machine. First, we'll add a local variable named skeletons killed. In the dead state, we want to increment the dialog system variable that's also named skeletons killed. To do that, we'll get the value of that variable from the dialog system. and store it in our local variable. Then we'll add one to it. And then we'll store it back in the dialog system. So when the skeleton is killed and enters the dead state, we'll grab the current value of skeletons killed from the dialog system, add one to it, and then store it back in the dialog system. And now we need to add our quest giver NPC. Let's find our Barker. And from the third party support examples, We'll grab Converser, add that NPC to the scene, break the prefab instance, and this time 
we'll assign the conversation state machine to the iCode behavior and bind it. And now let's edit that. Select the start conversation state and the conversation we wrote is called quest conversation. Let's take a look at how this works. Most of the time, the NPC is in the idle state. It transitions if the player clicks on the NPC to the start conversation state. And then it will loop continuously until either the conversation is over, in which case it goes to the idle state again, or the player has selected open shop which uses a sequencer command to set the open shop variable to tell it to go to the shop state. So let's try this out. And here's our quest, accepting it. And we'll go back. And our quest is done. You can also use the Unity UI tutorials to set up a quest log window and or quest tracker HUD. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about using the dialogue system in RPG Kit, please post on the dialogue system forum thread or use the contact form on pixelcrushers.com. Thanks for watching.